today we'll be doing a gentle flow and restorative yoga class. So today I'll be using a couple of props. I have a block. If you don't have a block, you can use just a pillow or a folded up blanket and a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use, again, a pillow or a folded up blanket. And we're going to start today on our backs with the knees bent up and use your block or your pillow for a supported bridge pose. So come onto your back with your knees bent up and your feet planted. And as you support your spine down, have your feet and knees about hip distance apart. They can be a tad wider. Just feel that your feet are parallel with your toes pointing straight forward. And bring your arms alongside the body with your palms facing down. Start to press down into the arms, press down into the feet. And gently lift the hips up, keeping the engagement of the arms and the upper back pressing down into the earth. And as you lift your hips up, you'll take your block, slide it underneath the very base of the spine, underneath the sacrum, and set your hips down right on top of your block. And again, you can use a bolster here or a pillow here instead, just elevating the hips gently. Even if you do this without a prop, you can just keep your hips onto the ground, rest with your knees bent up. You can do that as well. And your choice of what feels good in the arms, in the chest and shoulders today, feel free to rest with your arms a little away from the body. If you have the space, you can widen your arms out to a T or bend your elbows, arms out to the sides like a cactus shape. It might feel good today to ground your hands onto your hips or onto your belly. And start to bring in that intuition to know what feels good in your body. And once you get comfortable, let your eyes relax closed and just allow the weight of the hips to sink down towards the earth. And feel where the back of the head, the upper back, shoulders touch down onto the ground, where the feet touch down onto the ground. And let everything that's making contact with the earth beneath you feel a bit heavier. And as we get into this practice, we'll appreciate a slower pace. Notice if you still have thoughts swirling around in your mind from the day that's happened or the rest of the day ahead. And you start to pay attention to your breath. And without even changing the breath, watch the breath as it travels in and out of the body. Notice the pattern and the rhythm that it creates, the movement that it creates. Expansion on the inhale, contraction on the exhale. And use your breath as a tool to help you get into the present moment. You can imagine with your exhales, you're letting go of physical tension in the body. You might feel into places where you're harboring tension and let them go with your exhales. Use your exhales to help you release any stress or anxiety that's settled into the mind. Then you clear those things away with the breath. And feel free to let your eyes relax closed if you haven't already. They'll be here for a bit longer. And take a few rounds of deep breaths. Keeping your lips sealed, take a big, full, long inhale through the nose, expanding through the lungs completely. And sigh out through the mouth, let it go. And again, full breath in, expand through the belly, ribs, chest. Let it all go through the mouth. One more big full breath in through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. And if you'd like to invite in an intention for your practice, you can take a moment to set one. Any positive thought for yourself or for anyone else who might need it. you had your eyes relaxed closed, gently open them back up. 
And then just feel that your heels are stacked right underneath your knees. Bring your arms back down alongside the body. Open up your eyes and start to press into your arms firmly. Press into the feet and with a strong core, lift up through the hips. Keep your hips lifted as you gently move your block or your holster or your prop out from underneath the hips. And still keeping your hips lifted up. And then start to reach your arms up towards the sky with your hips lifted. Keep reaching your arms all the way back behind you until the backs of the hands touch down onto the ground. And as you exhale, you're going to sweep your arms back up towards the sky and at the same time, roll your spine down, lower your hips and your arms, your palms down at the same time. We're going to do that sweeping motion of the arms in connection with the lift of the hips. So on your inhale, lift the arms up, lift the hips up, open up through the chest. And then as you exhale, roll down the spine, sweep your arms back down alongside the body. And just do a few more. Inhale, lifting the hips, sweeping the arms all the way up and back. Exhale, sweeping the arms down, slowly lowering down the spine. Just two more. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, lifting the hips up. Keep your knees just about hip distance apart. Slowly release on the exhale, and one more with the breath. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, lifting the hips up. Reach the fingertips back. And as you exhale, roll down the spine, bring your arms back alongside the body. And keep your hips settled down. Hug your knees in towards the chest. And then keep your legs together, keep your knees together. Take one hand on top of each knee, and use your hands and arms to stir your knees around in a circle. Feel that massage around the mid and lower back. Nice and slow. And keep these movements contained and nice and fluid. And then start to stir the knees in the opposite way. Again, giving yourself that little massage, soft movement. And just hug your knees in towards the chest. Take your hands behind the knees. Start to rock forward and back on your spine. And start to rock all the way up to seated. You can sit comfortably with your legs crossed. I'm just going to turn towards the screen so that we can see each other. And on your next inhale, circle your arms up, touch your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And with your exhale, bring your hands down in front of the heart space. And we'll just do that movement and breath connected a couple more times. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, lifting up through the body. Exhale, hands back to the heart space. And one more together, sweeping the arms up, lifting up through the body, through the fingertips. Exhale, hands to the heart. And from here, we'll shift to a tabletop position. So you can roll forward over your knees or uncross your legs. Sweep your legs towards the back of our space. And line up your knees right underneath the hips. Wrist underneath the shoulders with the fingers spreading wide. And with your inhale, let your belly melt down. Take your gaze forward, open up through the chest to your cow pose. And exhale, round up through the spine as you press the earth away into your cat pose. And just moving with the breath, inhale, open up through the heart, gaze forward, collarbones spread. Exhale, pressing the earth away, round up through the spine. And just one more with the breath, inhale, opening up through the heart, gazing forward. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Come back to a neutral spine and then walk both of your hands just a few inches forward of the shoulders. Keep spreading through the fingers wide and then shift your shoulders a little bit beyond the wrists. As you exhale, strengthen the core and pull the hips all the way back towards your heels into a child's pose. You can gently let your forehead touch down onto the mat. Rocking forward and back, inhale, rising up to your hands and knees, shift your shoulders forward. And then exhale, pull your hips back towards the heels, back towards your child's pose. And one more with the breath. Inhale, gliding forward, shoulders shift forward. Exhale, shift your hips all the way back towards your heels. We're going to add on a little bit more to this flow. So inhale, rise up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your hips all the way up and back to downward dog, shifting the hips back. Inhale, shift your shoulders forward into a plank position, shoulders over your wrists. Use your knees if you need so you can slowly lower all the way to the belly. Keep your elbows close to the body. Toes point back. Bring your hands by your lower ribs. Keep your elbows bent above the wrists and inhale, lift through the chest lightly, still pressing the toes down, Cobra Bhujangasana. 
Exhale, release your chest back down. Hug in your core, press up through your hands and knees. Take your hips all the way back towards your heels, back to your child's pose. And we'll do that gentle flow a couple more times. So inhale, rising up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to downward dog. And inhale, shift forward to plank position. Use your knees if you need as you exhale, lower slow to the belly. Toes point back, hands by low ribs. Inhale, lift up through the chest, cobra. Exhale, float your chest back down. Engage your core, press up through the hands and knees and shift your hips all the way back towards your heels, back towards your child's pose. And one more round, inhale, rising up to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips all the way up and back to your downward dog. Inhale, shifting forward to plank. Use your knees if you need. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Toes point back, rise to cobra. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release your chest back down. Engage your core, press up through your hands and knees and shift your hips all the way back towards your heels into your child's pose. And this time, rise up to your hands and knees, inhale. Tuck your toes, exhale, lift the hips all the way up and back to downward dog. And then slowly walk your feet all the way back towards your, your hands all the way back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold at the back of your space. Relax your head and neck down. You can have a soft bend in your knees here. With your inhale, rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, fold it back down. And then just rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up and overhead, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. And exhale, bring your hands down in front of the heart space. And we'll just do a few half salutations with the breath. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Rise up halfway, flat spine and lengthen. Exhale, fold it back down. Rise all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. A couple more rounds. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, relax your head, neck and arms down. Rise up halfway with a flat spine. Fingertips can come to the shins or knees. Draw the heart forward, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold it back down. Come all the way up to standing, sweeping your arms up, touching palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to heart. One more round together, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale, fold it back down. And rise all the way up to stand, sweeping your arms up, touching your palms overhead at the top of the breath. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Shift your balance onto your right foot. Lift your left knee up and flex your left foot. And send this leg out straight, keeping your foot flexed, toes pulling back and then step forward onto your left foot. Hug your right knee up towards your chest. Extend it straight. And step the foot down and just do these slow, controlled steps forward all the way to the top of your mat. And just try to balance it out on both sides, even if you do it in place one or two times. Coming all the way up to the top of your mat, sweep the arms up, lift up through the body. And exhale, bring your hands down to the heart space. Relax your arms alongside the body, turn your palms to face forward. And continue to face forward. I'm going to turn back towards the camera just so you can see. Circle your right arm out towards the right. Reach across the body in front of the face, in front of the chest, and then back out towards the right side. And then take your left arm out towards the left. Take it up and over in front of the body. Back out towards the left side. Circle both arms up. Touch your palms overhead at the top. And exhale, fold forward all the way back down towards your mouth. I'm going to rise up halfway. Exhale and fold it back down. Keep your right foot in front. Take a big step back with your left foot. Lower your left knee down gently. And then rise up to your low crescent, lifting up through the arms, through the chest. And then twist to your right. Take your right arm back. Take your left arm forward. And just feel this nice long stretch across the arms. So keep your right arm, sorry, keep your left arm reaching forward. And you're going to circle your right arm. So keep your chest twisted open towards the right. Let your right arm sweep down towards the ground. And you'll let your palms maybe touch in front of you. Reach this right arm back up towards the sky. Turn the palm open as you reach it back. Two more big circles. Sweep the arm forward. 
reach it up towards the sky, rotate your chest open as you reach the arm back. One more circle, sweeping the arm forward. Reach it all the way up, opening it up towards the backs of our space. Take your right hand now to the back of your left thigh. Sweep up through the left fingertips. Keep your core engaged and just find this nice long stretch up and back. And then as you exhale, take your hands down on the inside of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under and lift your back knee up. You're gonna walk your hands, pivot your feet over towards the left side of our space. Make your feet parallel here. So toes are turning towards the side of your mat. Come up high to your fingertips as you draw the heart forward. And then as you exhale, hinge out your hips and fold in. You can plant your palms down right in between the feet or onto the ground. Relax your head and neck. You can hold onto your calves or around your ankles. Feel the weight in your feet shift a little bit more forward and just notice how that turns on the hamstrings a bit more. If your hamstrings are super tight, you can always have that tiniest bend in your knees just so you're not overlocking into the backs of the legs. Feel the length of the spine hanging from the base of the spine all the way down through the crown of the head. Feel that release. And bring your fingertips back down towards the earth. Rise up halfway back to your flat spine. And as you exhale, turn your toes all the way back towards the front. So you're back in this lunge, bending into your right knee. Instead of your feet hip distance, you might move your left foot a little bit towards the left. And keep your back heel lifted up off the mat. We're gonna rise to balance up to your high crescent, sweeping up through the arms, through the chest. Stack your shoulders over your hips and reach your fingertips up. Good. Keep your right knee bent and just step your left foot up towards the right. So now we're in this chair pose. Relax the shoulders, hug in through your core. Press into your feet, rise all the way up to standing, touch your palms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold, and now keep your left foot in front. Take a big step back, lift your right foot. Gently lower your right knee down. Lift up through the arms, through the chest, up to your low crescent. Keep your core hugging in. And as you exhale, twist to the left side now. Take your left arm back, take your right arm and stretch it forward. Take a moment, just opening up through the arms, through the chest, and we'll start those big circles with your left arm. So let your left fingertip sweep down towards the ground. Your arm is gonna pass forward, maybe you graze the palms together, reach your arm all the way up, and then feel the chest open as you stretch the left arm back. Two more circles, sweep the arm down, forward, up, and all the way back and open. One more time, sweeping the arm down, forward, up towards the sky, reach it all the way back, feel the chest opening up. Take your left fingertips to the back of your right thigh, reach up through the right fingertips. Take one more inhale, breath. And then exhale, bring your hands down on the inside of your left foot. Tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee up. You're gonna walk your hands, pivot your feet to the right side now. And again, point your toes towards the right side of your mat so your feet are parallel. Come up high to the fingertips. Exhale, hinge up the hips and fold down. Come back up halfway to your flat spine. Take your left fingertips underneath the chest, right underneath the chest or maybe underneath the face. Take your right arm, reach it up towards the sky. So now your spine is twisting and you're opening your chest towards the back of your mat. Try to pull forward through the crown of the head, so you feel the length from the tailbone all the way through the spine, through the crown of the head. Stack your shoulders open as best as you can, and feel both shoulders drawing away from the ears down the back. Take one more inhale. Exhale, sweep your right hand down, and switch sides, right fingertips underneath the chest, sweep your left arm up towards the sky. Opening up into this twist, grounding into the feet. And take one more inhale, breath. Exhale, bring your left hand back down. Fold your chest in and take a few more breaths here. Again, you can hold on to your ankle or your calves. Relax your head and neck down. Bring your fingertips back underneath the shoulders. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, turn your toes all the way back towards the front of our space. Set up your feet about hip distance apart. Keep your back heel lifted up. We're gonna rise back up to your balance, high crescent, sweeping up through the arms, through the chest, reaching up through the fingertips. And keep your left knee bent, step your right foot up towards the left, chair pose. The feet can be together with your big toes touching. 
or you can have your feet apart about hip distance. And again, relax the shoulders, hug in your core, sit down deep. Press into your feet, rise all the way up to standing, touch your palms. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Straight back into your chair pose, bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit back, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward, straighten your legs out. Rise up halfway, flat spine. Exhale and fold. Now keep your right foot in front. Take a big step back with your left foot. Left foot a little out towards the left so your feet are about hip distance. Keep your back heel lifted high. Rise up to high crescent, sweeping up through the arms. And then exhale, twist to your right. Arm circles with your right arm. Circle your right arm down towards the ground. Sweep it forward, back up towards the sky. Reach it all the way back as you stretch open. Two more big circles. Nice and steady, open up through the chest. One more big circle, sweep the arm forward, up towards the sky, reach it all the way back. And then take your right hand to the back of your left leg. Sweep your left arm up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, take your hands down on the inside of your left foot. You're gonna walk your hands, pivot your feet towards the left. Make your feet parallel, rise up halfway. Exhale, hinge up the hips and fold forward. Relax your head and neck down. And you can do any version that you did last time, maybe hands to the ankles or calves. You might try lacing up your fingers behind you. Draw the knuckles up towards the sky and stretch the shoulders. Keep your head and neck loose. Again, shift the weight in the feet a little bit more forward. Bring your fingertips back down underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift through the spine. Exhale, turn back to your lunge, back towards the front. You might widen your right foot a little towards the right so you have your feet hip distance. Rise up to high crescent, sweep the arms up. Keep your right knee bent, step your left foot forward, chair pose, soften through the shoulders. Press into your feet, rise all the way up to stand, touch palms. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bend your knees, sweep your arms up, sit back. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up halfway, inhale. Exhale and fold and keep your left foot in front. Big step back with the right foot. Plant the ball of the foot down. Rise up to high crescent, sweeping up through the arms, through the fingertips. Exhale, twist to your left. Big circles with the left arm. Sweep your arm down. Reach it forward all the way up. Feel that opening as you reach the arm back. Two more big circles. Reaching the arm up, circle it all the way back behind you. One more circle, sweeping the arm forward, out towards the sky. Stretch it back. And then take your left fingertips to the back of your right thigh. Reach up high through your right fingertips. One more inhale, breath. Exhale, take your hands down on the inside of your left foot. And then walk your hands, pivot your feet over towards the right side of our space. Make your feet parallel. Rise up halfway. Exhale and fold it back down. Let's take a moment, hinging at the hips here. And start to turn your heels in. Toes point out towards the sides. And then start to bend into your right knee only, walking your hands a little bit more towards the back of our space. Keep pulling the heart forward, skandasana, side lunge, jump to the right side. Breathe here, extending through the heart. Feel this in the inner groin and the outer hip. Inhale, come back up through center, pressing your legs straight. Bend into your left knee only as you walk your hands along the edge of the mat, more towards the front. And moving with the breath, inhale up through center. Exhale, bending into your right knee. Inhale, coming up through center. Bend into your left knee. One more time, each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, bend into your right. Inhale through center. Bend into your left. And then turn all your toes to point forward into your lunge. Set up your feet about hip distance. Rise high, crescent. Sweep up through the arms, through the chest. And then step your right foot up towards the left chair pose. Relax your shoulders, press into your feet, stand all the way up, touch your palms overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Back to chair one more time, bend your knees, sweep the arms up, sitting back. Exhale, fold it forward. Rise up halfway, exhale and fold, and then keep your hands planted. Walk your feet all the way back to your downward dog, just pressing the hips all the way up and back. Relax your head and neck between the arms. Take a full breath in, through the mouth, let it go. And gently lower your knees down, shift your hips back towards your heels, child's pose. 
Then your arms can gently stretch forward or gently stretch back. You can rest your forehead down. Feel free to let your eyes relax close and feel all the heat and the warmth that you've created in the body. And take another full breath in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth, let it go. And from your child's pose, gently start to come up to seated. And we'll start to get into our restorative portion of the practice. So take your block or pillow, and you're going to have one at the back of the mat. You're going to lay your head on that. And your bolster or your other pillow or blanket you'll have on the right side of your mat. And go ahead and start to lay down with your head on top of the block or the pillow, just so that as you're laying down, you could rest your head without crunching the pressure onto your shoulder. And you'll be on the right side of your body and your right leg is just extended out straight and you're gonna bend your left knee in front of you and place it on top of your bolster or your blanket. So your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked open and you're resting into this gentle twist. And your left arm, your top arm, can rest on top of the side body. You can rest onto the ground in front of the belly. You might rest it behind your back. And if you need to adjust the block or your bolster in any way, you can feel free to do that. And you can also feel free to cover up your body with a blanket for extra warmth. One thing that happens when your body gets relaxed is that the body temperature starts to drop as the blood flows from your extremities back towards the core center, back to your vital organs, into your belly, into your heart. And once you're nice and comfortable here, we're just gonna rest here for a few minutes. And in our restorative practice, it's all about finding comfort and ease letting the weight drop down into the body, allowing your bones to feel heavy and resting towards the earth. So the props and the earth are there to support you. Feel free to let your eyes relax, close. Let your face soften, allow your belly to soften. We'll be here for several more breaths. And just notice with every round of breath, can you let the weight of your body melt heavier down towards the earth? Can you feel the spaces between the thoughts expand? As the brain and the mind slow down.
Pak ini bikinnya Pak Energy beacon your breath, the field, energy. Now it sounds like being a bit more alert. Come back into the body. And then from here, you can simply roll to the other side and move the bolsters to the other side. I'm going to go in the opposite direction so I'm still facing you. And now you'll rest the left side of your head on top of your block or pillow and lay down along the left side of the body, extending the left leg all the way out straight. And bending your right knee in front of the hip and letting it rest on top of a blanket or a pillow or a bolster if you have it. And then now the right arm, the top arm can again just rest on top of the side body. You can wrap behind your back and gently in front of the belly. Feel your face soften. Let the jaw relax. Belly soft. And just melting down into the earth. Sometimes in our restorative practice, you might even find yourself drifting off to sleep. And see if you can be just aware of how you're feeling. Maybe you're really tired and you need that rest. And don't be surprised if you fall asleep as you start to let yourself relax. Just bringing that sense of rest and relaxation into our practice. Bring your awareness back to the breath, fuller breaths in, and fuller breaths out. Still staying calm and relaxed. very gently starting to make your way out of the shape. And pressing your palms into the earth to bring yourself back up. Coming up to seated just briefly. So you'll take your block, you can move it off to the side. You won't use that for the next pose. Take your bolster or your long pillow or a folded up blanket 
Now you're going to bring it horizontally across the mat behind your hips. Sit your hips right in front of the bolster and start with your knees bent up and your feet planted. And start to let your spine rest on top of the bolster. And here you might use your block or your pillow. Let your, the back of your head and neck touch down onto the ground. You can open up your arms just so that they're along the edges of your bolster or prop. And if this is too intense of a back bend, you can take your block or your other pillow or blanket and set it up underneath your head for a little bit more support. And feel this openness through your chest. You can stay with your knees bent up. You can take your feet wider and rest your knees against each other. You can extend the legs out straight or bring the bottoms of the feet to touch with your knees opening out to the side. And bolster supporting the heart space. Finding that gentle lift and opening, stretching across the upper back into the space between your shoulder blades. Just let yourself rest here, gently opening up. And gently start to deepen your breath, fuller breath in, fuller breath out. Without any haste or hurry. If your right arm's not already there, go ahead and reach it out towards the right. And we're gonna gently roll off to the right side, roll in towards the right side of your body. And you can use your hands and arms to brace you as you gently press up to seated, just for a moment to set up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. So you can use your props in any way that you'd like. It might feel nice to place the bolster underneath the knees. 
You can rest with your bolster lengthwise along the spine. You can just lay down flat if you'd like. And feel free to rest your arms open and away from the body with the palms gently turning up. You can also rest your hands onto the hips or onto the belly or one hand onto the heart or onto the belly. Eyes rest closed. And as you come into the stillness and rest, allow yourself to take in all the benefits of your practice today. Take one more full breath in through the nose. Inside, out through the mouth, let it go. And allow yourself to enjoy these moments where we have nowhere else to go and nothing else to do. Scan gently through the body from head to toe to bring everything into rest. Let your face soften. Let the eyes gently relax back. Let your jaw be relaxed. Shoulders are heavy, belly soft, hips heavy. Relax all the way down through the arms, into the fingers, and all the way down through the legs, into the toes. Let every part of the body surrender into ease. Let the mind soften into stillness. You can gently rest in Shavasana as long as you'd like. We welcome you to stay here for a few more minutes at least. Let yourself really take in the slow, gentle practice, nourishing and restoring the body. If you're ready to close up your practice, a fuller breath in and a fuller breath out. And still keeping your eyes rested closed on your next inhale, reach your arms all the way back behind you and just find a nice long stretch from end to end. And gently bend your knees up, plant your feet down onto the earth and ground your hands onto your belly, touching your palms onto the body, finding that connection and allow yourself to reconnect with the intention you may have created at the beginning of our class, bringing light to that thought and fully believing in the power of our thoughts to help create the things that we desire. And thank yourself for valuing rest and relaxation to restore and heal the body. And we'll close together with one more full breath in through the nose. Inside, out through the mouth, let it go. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.